Well, tonight, Florida's head of emergency management telling Floridians who did not evacuate and who stayed in their homes that rescue teams are not out now and won't be until the winds die down. Yeah, among those rescue teams, we folks from the NYPD and FDNY who are headed down south right now. You see Anthony DiLorenzo over here. He actually has been speaking with some of them tonight. Anthony. Yeah, Corey, just take a look at the fury that the storm has posed. It arrived earlier tonight in the form of multiple tornadoes wreaking havoc all across the Florida Peninsula. And within the last 90 minutes, the full force of Hurricane Milton's wind and waves pushed ashore. Now emergency workers from our area are ready to respond to that strike zone. Hurricane Milton making landfall as a powerful Category 3 storm Wednesday night, lashing Siesta Key, Florida. 130 mile per hour winds punishing the Gulf Coast, south of the greater Tampa Bay area, home to over 3 million people. These folks are always ready to answer the call. At the same time, nearly 100 members of New York City's elite Task Force One are mobilizing to race in once the storm moves out. Unbelievably heroic uh, efforts on behalf of our country. These are national heroes. As one team deploys, this platoon comprised of the NYPD and FDNY, now back home from North Carolina, making dozens of rescues by land, air, and boat after Hurricane Helene, the storm killing over 200 people. Chief Jack Flatley says his team rescued a man whose wife tragically died beside him. It had collapsed in a mudslide, and he survived and she didn't. So they were able to extricate her with some uh, dignity. Heroism is all in the family for Lieutenant Michael Graham. His brother, also in Task Force One, is headed to Florida where dozens of tornadoes touched down ahead of the hurricane's landfall. You're able to help somebody that needs it. So I do that here in the city, and now we're able to put our training and help people across the country. The team fears the storm surge will be the Sunshine State's biggest enemy. It really just destroys everything it touches. And as you heard, the storm surge expected to be measured in many feet. And it's just an enormous blow to the Gulf Coast of Florida. The hits keep coming, literally. Many of these same communities were left with destruction just last month from Helene. And Hurricane Ian, two years ago, Corey, they are still cleaning up from him.